Live your passion. Metallurgy is defined as the extraction of metals in their pure form and involves processing and converting such metals into usable forms. Meet metallurgist Clementia Cambonde. Employed by Dundee Precious Metals, Chimep, she is making strong inroads into the male-dominated mining sector. This is her story. Born and bred at Ongwadiva in Oshana, Clementia Kambonde enjoyed spending time in her family's backyard garden. After completing grade 12 at Weshipandeka Senior School, Clementia enrolled at the University of Namibia's Ongwadiva campus for its Science Foundation program, hoping to pursue her childhood dream of qualifying as an ophthalmologist. I think in my primary grade, my grandma actually under, uh, went through a, a eye surgery, the cataract surgery. So me seeing that happening or seeing her recovering from the pain and all that uh, she went through when she went through the surgery. So I actually aspire to become uh, an eye surgeon, eh? an eye doctor, somebody who can actually handle cases that has to do with eye. However, it was during a career day that Clementia got introduced to the exciting field of metallurgy and the dream of becoming an eye doctor was abandoned. Upon getting to hear so many diverse careers out there, I decided to actually just study more on what other people do and I ended up fell, falling in love with the metallurgical engineering course. Upon completing my pre-engineering course for one year, I was fortunate enough to become a pioneer of the Ongwediva engineering faculty, which is now well known as Jose Eduardo Santo campus. So I just did my course over there as I successfully graduated with an honors degree in metallurgical engineering. Metallurgy stands central in the operations of the Dundee Precious Metal Chumeb Smelter, which was constructed in the early 1960s to process concentrate from the Chumeb and combat copper mines mainly. The smelter is a rare one in that it is able to treat complex copper concentrate, something few other smelters are advanced enough for. While I was still at the university, I was actually uh, curious to know as to what exactly is happening in the industry. So I decided to apply at various companies because I wanted to have some sort of hand-on experience. I didn't want to come into the industry just after graduating or when I'm actually required to go and do my internship. And that's the time that I want to learn as to what people do in the industry. So before we were even told to apply or search for some sort of internship for our academic performance courses or other things. So I decided just to shoot my shots and then fortunately, Dandy Precious Metals gave me a green light. So my very first holiday in my first year of engineering, I did my very first internship at Dandy Precious Metals. Her diligent nature and eagerness to learn made it easy for Clementia to return for more holiday internship stints at the smelter. However, since she was a recipient of a Petro Fund bursary, she couldn't return in her third year. Concerned that she might struggle to land employment upon graduating, Clementia decided to opt out of her bursary. 
When I saw that Dundee was actually offering bursary, so I applied just to see if they can take me. And fortunately, they also picked me as one of the students that they, can, they, 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 they want to sponsor. And uh, from there, I'm now working for DPMT for about eight years now on a full-time basis. And that excludes the number of years that I've been coming for internship during my holiday times when I was still a student. Dundee Precious Metals Tumap produces 98.5% pure copper blister, which is refined in Europe and Asia to be turned into metal. We are making use of various furnaces. We have a primary furnace, which is a top submerged lens furnace. We also have a secondary furnace, which is actually the converter furnace, where we are actually converting the concentrate, which is about 28 to 35% copper rich, into final product, which is 98.6% copper rich blister. And that is what we actually produce as our final product. Other elements, arsenic, trioxide and sulfuric acid are sold to third-party customers and Namibian uranium and copper producers, respectively. Clementia's metallurgy expertise makes her an important cog in the company's production-intensive operations. A metallurgist in general basically makes use of mathematics, science and engineering principles to ensure that we actually extract variable metals from the ore or variable minerals from the ore in the most safe way and most economical way possible. The main role that I actually play on that section is to make sure that I analyze, I improve and optimize the process operational efficiencies of the product that we're actually getting on that side. By the term product, I'm actually referring to the water quality as well as the acid quality that has to be within the required specification to ensure that our final product reach actually the required demands for the on-site consumption as well as our customers such as Rossing that we're actually supplying our acid to and some Zambian company and DLCs as well. Proactive maintenance and quality assurance are key responsibilities in Clementia's portfolio. Corrective and preventative measures must be performed on plant equipment to enhance performance, reliability and effectiveness. Neglect can result in decreased production. On a regular basis, the thing that I go through is actually to analyze the operational status of the plants. So like I earlier said, I'm actually working on the acid plant, water quality and ancillaries. So I need to make sure that our water quality is actually within specs by checking on how our performance has been in the previous shifts and also just trying to project and see how our operation is going to be in case nothing changed within the operational system. So on, on the acid plant, I have to make sure that the quality of the product we're actually having is within specs. Our vessels, our absorption gas cleaning section is actually uh, absorbing or removing the impurity as per required specification. And if there's any changes that has to be brought in, that I have to make sure that it's brought in in a most strategic way. Because you just don't bring in a change and say implement. So I need to quantify that the change is going to work and it's going to be actually beneficial to the process itself and to everybody else who is involved in the process operation. I'm a foreman for the asset plant. Uh, my core responsibility is looking after we meet, that we meet the operational um, parameters that we have set, asset production, produ producing assets safely, and basically the upkeep of the plant, which entails now breakdowns, handling, or looking after pumps, care and maintenance. That is, in a nutshell, my core responsibility on the plant. She's our plant metallurgist. So basically, in all facets of running the plant, I have to touch base with her. Sampling, whether the acid is on spec, looking after our waste, let's say for example, ETP, when we need to organize for removal of bags, she's the one to create our trip sheets. So we are very intertwined in our roles because whatever feedback she gives me, I need to execute it in the plant or I provide her with data for our log sheets or our production report. Environmental safety and sustainability stand central in the smelter's operations. You know, every smelting operation 
to ensure that we don't contaminate our environment, we keep it clean for the inhabitant to live in safely. We do the cleaning of the gas to ensure that what we are emitting into the atmosphere is not actually contaminating, it's not affecting our environment and the uh, employees who are actually working on site as well. We are working with molten metals. Uh, it's a high temperature area. Uh, there is a risk of burning and even dying and explosions. So you need to work within the parameters that are set. Then you have to have a good understanding of the system. So that's very key to, to this production. As a plant, very, should I say, risky plant, because of what we work with, we, we make sulfuric acid here. Whatever gas we receive from our smelt, we take that in a nutshell, convert it to SO3, because we get SO2 from them. Ultimately, that is what we use to make acid. So very dangerous. We have temperatures that are at risk. We have acid due to what happens when it, it comes into contact with, its, with your skin. So yeah, but also very scientific plant. You get to really practice what you will teach or what you were taught at school. So it's a very practical plant. Makes you think a lot, opens your mind and also very progressive in terms of technology. You get to work with the latest technology available in the industry. Clementia's reputation as a meticulous metallurgist is hard earned and well deserved. Colleagues appreciate her for her contribution towards improving and optimizing process operation efficiencies across the smelters' various sections. I've actually learned a lot from her, especially when it comes to data capturing, formulas that we use, because we are limited not limited but when it comes to really formulas capturing various formula data diesel consumption all of those things she's really grown me in that aspect of really being meticulous as she is in in capturing that data so i'm a very operational person she's a very practical or let me say theoretical person so the two of us we feed off each other because when she wants to know more about certain elements of the plant that I have through experience, we can converse. So it's a, she's very open, give, take. Away from the hot smelter and the demanding production deadlines, Clementia unwinds by spending time with family or to go for long walks in nature. There's actually one thing that actually gives me joy. And with a family, it's even beyond the word joy itself. So you come out refreshed, you go back home with a new mindset, with a new thinking capacity, so you can carry on with the next uh, task of your life or a uh, new activity that you want to carry out without even thinking about how the stressful day has been before you actually get to your house or before you meet your family. So walking out, enjoying the beauty of nature, so me and nature, we are best friends. Clementia Kambonde. Her story teaches us that success is no accident and that we must have firm resolve, persistence and tenacity in making progress in our careers. That we must gear ourselves to work hard all the way. The sky is the limit for this trailblazing young woman who continues to live her dream in the male-dominated mining world. She is living her passion. This insert is brought to you by the Namibia Training Authority. Visit our website at www.nta.com.na to learn about other technical and vocational career options.